welcome to my office. I'm excited to get to visit with you today. We are wrapping up our series on integrity. This entire month, we've been looking at characters that we find in our Bible who have lived with integrity. Now, integrity means that you are choosing to be truthful in everything that you say and do. And I want to talk about a verse that's found in the book of Philippians. Philippians is found in the New Testament, and like many books in the New Testament, it was written by Paul. And let me tell you a little bit about Paul. Paul spent a lot of time after Jesus had died and ascended, gone up into heaven. Paul traveled all around. He went a lot of places in Asia and Europe, and he spent time telling people about Jesus. He would sit with those people and teach them about Jesus and kind of spread the good news, the gospel, and then once enough people in that city believed in Jesus, he would pick up and he would go to a new city and he would teach them about Jesus. So he was starting these churches all over the place. And this verse that we're going to look at today, we find in the book of Philippians, and it was from a letter that Paul wrote to the people who lived in a town called Philippi. So let's look now at Philippians 4, 8. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those things. So you see, when Paul was telling these things to the Philippians, he was telling them that it really matters what you think about and you have control over your mind. So when something bad happens, it's easy for our minds to get really trapped in that. We get frustrated, our feelings get hurt, we, we get angry at people, and those emotions are okay, and Paul's not saying that they're gonna go away completely, but he is saying that when you take the time to focus on other things. Stacy! Oh, um, hang on one second, Farland, okay. I'm shooting a video. Okay, I'm really sorry. I've got to talk to you. Uh, yeah. Okay, well hang on just a second, have a seat. Let me stop this video here. My life is over. You well, are well, not going seat. to believe. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I know, I'm interrupting, and I hate to do that. You are never going to believe what happened to me. My life is over. I, I'm, Your life it, is not over. What no, happened? It real, no, seriously. Okay, so can you believe, okay, with all of this stuff that's going on, that the Department of Public Safety told me I had to come into the office to get my new driver's license. Oh, yeah, okay. bummer. Okay, not only do you have to wait forever, but guess what? It's been a little bit of time <laughs> since my license expired because of all, they, they were closed, right? And so now they're telling me that I have to take the written test again to get my license. Do you know how long it's been since I have had to take the written test? Stacy, I got my license when I was 16 years old. Do the math. It's been a long time. <sighs> that has been a long time, but I don't think your life is no, over. No, oh, no, no, no. It gets worse, okay? So, I studied last night. I stayed up studying last night. And I studied all night long because I, at 6.30 this morning, I fell asleep. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. And Julie had already left to come to the office. Everybody was home. I was asleep and nobody woke me up. I slept through my tests. I, I will never be able to drive again. I, I really don't think I am going to be taking buses and taxis and Uber okay. and everything. Okay, I oh. can't drive. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay, listen. Now, I can understand how mm. this might feel really frustrating to you, but I don't know that life's never going to be the same. It's like bad things are happening, but hang on. You know what, Farland? Actually, what? 
I was in the process before you barged into my office of I'm teaching. I'm really sorry about that, by yeah. the way. Okay, sorry. thanks. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate yeah. you being really sorry yeah. about that. So, But I was teaching the kids a lesson about a verse in Philippians. And let me read this verse to you okay. because I think it might help you with this situation. With driving? It might help you with how what you're thinking, with okay. your mindset. Okay. 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 So listen to this. It's in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, and here is what it says. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of praise. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. It didn't say driving. It didn't say driving, but okay. listen, let's, let's just break it down for just a second. Think about your situation this morning. And now think about what do you know from that situation that is true, that's noble, that's right? What can you think about? Okay, if I stop and think about it, even though I mess my test, one thing that's true is that God still loves me, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. That's it. That's right. He still loves you. Okay, now let's do this. Like, think about the next part. Okay, what do you think about that is lovely and worthy of respect? Can you think of anything in your life that's lovely and worthy of respect? Okay, if I'm going to say lovely, I have to think of Julie, right? Perfect. I mean, because I have an incredible wife. Who does a lot of stuff for me at home? She does a lot of stuff here in the office. I mean, she really is lovely and talk about worthy of respect. I, yeah. Okay, now, next part. Now, what can you think about that is excellent or worthy of praise? God is worthy of praise. And He's worthy of praise, but also excellent. I mean, there are so many things in life that are excellent. I mean, I have an excellent job. I get to work with excellent people. I mean, like you. Absolutely. Even you may not think that about me right now because I interrupted your video, which, yeah. is, by the way, I'm really sorry about that. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. But, I mean, God is excellent. God is worthy of praise, and he has surrounded me with excellent people. All right. See, okay. I love it. That's exactly right. We have to remember what's true about God. Even when bad things happen, it's amazing how if we stop and we look at everything just a little bit differently, then it puts things into perspective. And that is exactly what Paul was trying to do in this verse. Well, sorry about that little interruption, but it just so happened that Farland's story works perfect for our scripture that we're looking at today from Philippians 4, 8. And you know what's funny? Oftentimes when things seem really bad for us, it, it usually means that God is up to something good or God is gonna use it to do something good. So changing our mindset, changing the way that we think about things really does make our situation a lot better while God is doing the real work.